where you're sitting. Our intention is to not get you wet. Our intention is to keep you dry, but both these whales weigh several thousand pounds, and a lot of times we don't have much of a saying. So this is just flash warning. You could get a little sprinkle, or maybe a little bit more, but we'll try to stay dry today. Um, so over the next 10, 15 minutes, uh, my goal is to introduce you to our whale, talk a little bit more about what makes killer whales awesome, and go into a lot more depth as to how we teach our whales, how we train them, and how we care for our animals here at SeaWorld. So let's start off with some introductions. I'm starting off with our youngest killer whale. His name is Mikhail. He's going to be jumping right in front of you folks here in front of me. This is a behavior called an alien. Mikhail is nine years old. He's our youngest whale. He was born right here. He weighs about 3,600 pounds. He's our little guy. Not so little though, right? He's doing a lot of growing. And he is definitely a nine-year-old boy. So he has a, a shorter attention span sometimes. He loves to play. He loves to be goofy. He's a lot of fun. All right, next up we have our other male killer whale. His name is Trua. And Trua is going to be jumping in the center of the pool doing a back reach. Kind of like a back flop. Nice back reach from Trua. Trua right now is our largest killer whale. He weighs about 5,900 pounds. And he's 14 years old. He was also born right here. I can tell Trua apart from our other whales, not only because of his larger size, but he also has some freckles on his body, uh, which is unique to him. He has a freckle on his chin, on his eye patch, on the side of his face, and also some on his belly too. So we look for these little small identifying characteristics to tell our whales apart. Um, we spend hours with these whales every day. We spend more time with them than we do with our own families and our own pets at home. So we develop really strong relationships with them and we can tell them apart easily just by looking at their faces. Their faces all look very different to us. And then we can look for those things like freckles or the different shapes of their eye patches on the side of their face, different shaped dorsal fins, the gray patch behind the dorsal fin is unique to each whale as well. And they all have very different personalities, so that's where the relationship parts come, uh, comes into play. 
spending so much time with them, we find out what they really like to do, maybe things that they don't like to do as much, and that helps us to gear our training. You actually see the veins on the other side of his flutes, and Mikhail has been desensitized to us manipulating his tail flutes, touching his tail flutes, and having our veterinarians put a needle into the vein to draw a blood sample. We do that minimal once every month, so we have a baby who we can see the signal, and they will exhale forcefully, and then just put a little translation above. Mostly a body language and hand signals that we teach to the whales, so we essentially create our own sign language to communicate with them. What's Micaiah doing, baby? An alien over here. So that's another vertical jump over here on the right hand side. You guys get an awesome look at True Boy over here. You guys see that freckle on his chin? The dorsal fins on the males get much, much taller than the females. They get to be about five or six feet tall. Good speed for him. Very good. Another one over here on the left. A little bit of water might come over to you guys on the left hand side. Well, we hope that you folks have enjoyed learning a little bit more about Truett. Now, Tiger is the youngest member of our dolphin family. He was born right here at Dolphin Nursery uh, 19 years ago and proving that he has a ton of energy. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your eye on the tiger.